Hi there, this video will show you how to use Capture Reference in EndNote. Capture Reference allows you to save references directly from a website to your EndNote web account. Before we start, this video assumes that you are able to log into Web of Science to access EndNote and that you are able to navigate the library's website, search the databases, and do some web searches on your own. You should also have a bookmark bar or favorites bar on your browser to use EndNote's capture reference. So here is the Web of Science and, and I am logged in using my library account. And so now I can click on EndNote to start EndNote here. Um, so here is my EndNote page. Now to use capture reference under downloads, drag this capture reference bar and then place it on the bookmark toolbar there um, right so in this case it's right beside my library bookmark and now we are ready to um, import references using this capture reference capture reference tool so i'm going to go to this page here this is um, harvester um, ufb's um, institutional repository and here i have a dissertation uh, so there is on this page there isn't really a way for me to um, export this reference into in end notes easily so i'm going to try and use the capture reference tool click on the capture reference and it's able to import some information um, such as the author the title um, although um, it ha it's not getting everything quite right so this one is a dissertation but um, and note is recognizing it as a journal article but we can use this and change it to to find dissertation it's not here so um, maybe under thesis and um, we can change the date to 2018 and um, fill in other um, information as, in, as necessary. And scrolling down um, to save it, I can create a new group. And, um, and here I'm going to save it to my endnote.com instead of endnote simply because our subscription um, through the UFB library is tied with Web of Science and it's an online rather than a des desktop version of endnote. And here we are, it's saved. So I'm going to close this, go back to my endnote and click my references. And there is my article in a new group or new folder. And there's the article loading up. Let's try one more. So we have a website here from the city of Vancouver on Guelph Park, which has been um, named, also named um, Dude Chilling Park. And let's try to capture reference here. And Again, um, it's showing a, a journal article, and so what we need to do here is change that to a web page and double check the information. And the reason for showing this is simply that um, if you are using this to create a bibliography, you want to make sure that the information uh, is as accurate as it can be. Otherwise, um, you'll have um, errors in the bibliography that eventually gets created using my EndNote. And again, we are saving it to my EndNote.com, um, which appears to be the default. And there it's saved. Go back to my EndNote. And let me refresh the page. And there's my new folder, Gorilla Art. And there is the article. Uh, there is the article. Please note that Capture Reference is not able to identify all the resources you find on the web. This feature is best 
used in Firefox, Chrome, and Microsoft Edge. Lastly, if you try to use Capture Reference and you keep on encountering this screen, login screen after you have logged in numerous times, um, you are probably dealing with some compatibility issues between the website and EndNote. In this case, it's best to enter the reference manually. Thank you for watching this video. Um, if you need further assistance, please visit the library's website. Thanks again.